Hey guys, Mr. Cannon. This is uh, our kind of wake up video for April 2nd. Uh, so I want to just take a couple quick minutes to let you know what should have been done already, what needs to be done over the next two days, uh, and a couple things in between. Uh, so first off, um, you have two tasks to do today. So before the end of the video, you need to make sure you at least watch through those two tasks. Okay, that's two tasks for today, due Friday by midnight. Uh, at this point, you should have submitted your micro IA or you should have communicated with me about getting you photos of your uh, paper copy. Um, so on that first, um, <clears throat> I have this nice big diaper box to fill in a big diaper box filled with uh, IAs. Uh, totally honest, the amount of you guys who have called me to individually, uh, I'm doing the presidential thing, uh, who have called me to individually uh, chat about your micro IA and give you uh, feedback is larger than I expected, which is amazing. I love it. Uh, it has taken up my days uh, to not get those photos to you. If you have contact, contacted me about getting photos of your IA, you are fine. Okay. I, I'm not going to send you photos at 4 p.m. and then say it needs to be typed by midnight. As long as you have contacted me about each IA for every uh, over that two, two day period, it's my discretion whether I count you as present or not. So you have either at this point gotten your IA in by midnight and you are present and you get your grade, or you have sent me messages saying, hey, I need photos because I made the, the announcement a couple of days ago or a day and a half ago or so. So you need to make sure that uh, if you did that, you're fine. I will be getting the emails to you uh, throughout the day. I'm going to be scheduling fewer editing sessions today, so I will actually be able to do that. Okay. Uh, so you're good. Okay, so you're fine. Once I get it to you, uh, I'll uh, likely make it through midnight tomorrow, depending on how fast the process goes. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Like I said, missings will go in the grade book uh, probably sometime uh, later today or tomorrow morning because I'll be doing that IA stuff. Um, and like I said, you have two tasks today. Uh, so your first task, okay, your first task is a discussion post. In it's not actually a discussion post, but it's going to look like one in um, the folder for this day. So there's a folder titled Online uh, Learning Resources, and I'm doing a folder for every two day cycle, so you know where today's stuff is, tomorrow's day stuff, uh, tomorrow's stuff is. Um, so it's going to be called uh, what is it? Uh, combating social distancing or something like that. You'll see it. Okay. Basically, here's what I need you guys to do. Um, Assuming you are doing everything you're supposed to do and you're, you know, staying uh, separated from other people physically and you are uh, only going out to go to, uh, you know, pick up food or whatever, um, that can be extremely isolating. And, and I understand that. And so here's what I want you to do in an effort to remember that you are, uh, if not physically connected, uh, still part of a community. I want you to uh, make a phone call today or tomorrow. OK, the instructions are in the assignment. But you can either use Teams to use uh, video chat. You can use uh, just make a phone call. It doesn't have to be another student. I have some instructions in there. I would encourage you to make a phone call to somebody you haven't spoken to in a while. Um, I want uh, if you are feeling kind of distance and isolated. I know that you know, especially if you're kind of sitting and you maybe you don't have same age siblings and you're just kind of sitting alone. Uh, you know, playing the same video game over and over or watching the same TV over and over, it can get very, um, you know, maddening and, and isolating. And so if you are in need of that, then that is for you. If you're feeling completely fine, know that other people aren't. And I would encourage you to think about somebody who might appreciate a phone call today. The instructions are inside uh, that discussion post. I have a question you need to ask them. Uh, and I just want you to have a discussion just to, you know, uh, combat that feeling of isolation, which I know we're all going to be feeling as we move on. Uh, so that's your first task, okay? Uh, second task, uh, and then you'll have to put something in the discussion post. It's really quick. Basically, I did it, here's what happened, okay? Uh, second thing, you need that micro IA to make. Again, when you submit it, cover sheet, article, paper, uh, and to turn it in. Um, there, I am knowing that the article will show as plagiarized. I'm going to be looking through all of them, so like I'll see the difference there. So it's okay if it says like 50% plagiarized, that's fine because yeah, half of it was on, you know, uh, you know, any uh, Newsweek or whatever. So I, I get that. You're fine. Um, but that needs to be in by Friday again at midnight to count as present or, uh, or, or absent. Um, I believe that's all I have. So um, keep in touch with me. I have office hours again, nine to 10, three to four today. And then tomorrow, nine to 10, one to two. Um, and I've been mostly using those hours to schedule private times to meet with people so that we're not all waiting in line for me to talk to somebody about a question they have, okay? 
Um, if you have further questions, you can send stuff to me through the chat. Honestly, I'm responding to things faster in Teams than I am email because I'm kind of living in this program. So you can always send me work and stuff through that as well. Okay. Well, have a great couple days, guys. Uh, great couple days, guys, uh, and and weekend if I don't talk to you. Okay. Take care.